Science fiction is shown in movies and books have taught us about various types of monsters, all very different from each other and perhaps each worse than the last. Many believe that this is only fiction, but are there really no such things in real life? Planet Earth is full of very strange life forms which live and thrive in their own way. Although expert biologists have studied much of every life form on Earth, there's much still to be learned. So it should come as no surprise that there are monsters living in our world. Today, we'll tell you about some of them. Number six. Giant birds. Although birds are a fairly normal animal to see in our world, they're usually no larger than a certain size. Some may be larger than others, depending on their species, but from there to being literally giants, there's a long way to go. In Lawndale, Illinois in 1997, there were a lot of events with giant birds. It all started when two large birds approached where then-child Marlon Lowe was playing. And one of them, because of its size and strength, got him off the ground. Seven witnesses were there at the time, including Marlon's mother, until they managed to bring him down, and after that, there were many more reported cases of this type of bird in the same area. Sadly, the police were unwilling to listen to these cases. They said they were just big crows and that's it. But the citizens know that those were not crows and many took it as a kind of thunderbird, which was around at the time. Number five, the Mampinguari. Let's go back to another totally monstrous creature that's said to have lived many years ago in South America. In this case, its area of residence was between Brazil, Guyana, and Suriname. In the mountains of these countries is a creature called Manpinguari, which was seen for years. The Manpinguari was a truly impressive creature in terms of size and shape. It had many similarities with primates, but with time and observation, they realized it did not belong to this species. It was a stout, two-legged monster covered with a large amount of reddish fur never before seen in its time. Strangest of all was the shape of the footprints they left on the ground. They were said to be shaped like bottles, and many others claimed that they were the same as human ones, but inverted. Many cryptozoologists have studied the case of the Mampinguari, and some of them claim that it is a creature that became extinct a long time ago. Number four, the Minakau. Let's move on now to the 19th century, Brazil, specifically to the year 1846 where sightings of the monster called Minico began to be recorded. The name of this being comes from the word Minhoca, which in Portuguese means lombriz. Therefore, the word means augmentative, referring to a large worm. Its appearance as such is still a case to be solved today. Many claimed at the time that all you could see of this monster was its mouth. He would just lift it to the surface and swallow the animals in there. But there are also versions of the story that speak of a huge worm with a body covered in bones. While there was much doubt and skepticism about this, everything changed in 1878, the year in which Dr. Fritz Muller claimed that he was about to bring a Minicow corpse to Europe. Sadly, the reasons why that trip never took place are unknown. Number three, the saber-toothed tiger. A saber-toothed tiger was seen in Paraguay as reported by Peter Matheson in 1966. During his visit to the country, a sailor told him about his encounter with this strange animal, a feline with stripes on its body like a tiger but with huge protruding sharp fangs in the shape of small sabers. Although until then the navigator had only seen it once, however it was only a matter of time before reports about the appearance of this same animal arrived. In another place in South America, an animal with this same style was shot. Also in Paraguay, years later, in 1984, a similar tiger was seen coming out of a cave. Not much has been studied about this creature, although without a doubt, what is most striking is how it obtained such teeth. Number 2. The Mysterious Gray Man 
In the high mountains of Scotland, especially at the summit of Ben Macdui, something strange has been seen for years. A figure that in Scottish is called Amphir Leith Moor, a name that has been translated into English as Grey Man. The beginning of his appearances date back to 1891, and many climbers have testified to his presence. The name Grey Man is given to him because it's the closest denomination to what he is. But beyond being a man himself, those who've seen him refer to him as an abstract presence. Something that is there, but beyond seeing it, you feel it. When it's close to you, you feel an apprehension that makes you stay static in the place you are. From his person, we have not managed to obtain more than photographs of footprints that are associated with them. Many experts have tried to fit into the same line of the Himalayan Yeti or Bigfoot, for example, and while they may be similar, they are by no means the same. The Grey Man has been stealing the energy of climbers in Scotland for over a century. Number 1. Trunko You've certainly never heard of Trunko. Its history dates back to Margate, South Africa in 1924. The people there reported seeing something very strange in the sea, a unique looking animal that battled two killer whales and it's said died after that. However, those who witnessed it have taken it upon themselves to describe what the monster they saw looked like. They described it as kind of a giant half fish polar bear. It was said to have a lobster tail, an elephant-like trunk, and a polar bear torso, with all white fur that covered its body completely. Those who measured his body said that he was 14 meters long and about 3 meters wide. That's how giant this strange creature was. It was nicknamed Trunko by cryptozoologist Carl Schuker in 1996, who published all the information he got about this monster in a book called The Unexplained. Zone Zero giants living in Peru. In the 16th century, when the Spanish explorers arrived in Peru, they obtained a great deal of information. The Incas of the time told them many interesting facts, although the most striking is the story of some giants. Beings of enormous size that arrived at Santa Elena in huge rafts as told by the Incas. The indigenous people with whom the conquerors had contact also told how these giant beings caused destruction. They went from village to village, appropriating everything, no matter how much damage they might cause on their way. Many of the explorers took these stories for false, for they did not believe in the Incas. However, in 1543, an excavation was carried out in Trujillo by Captain Juan Almos. There, ancient bones over 10 feet high were discovered, an uncommon size for humans to be on average, even for those who were tall. All those stories, no matter how old or recent they may be, never cease to amaze us. Humans during our life on Earth are surrounded by other strange beings which we don't see in most cases, but when we see them, we become skeptical. There are numerous cases of monsters living on Earth. If you're interested in knowing much more about them, I invite you to watch this video.